Hi. This is Reverend Meeling, Reverend Susan Meeling, Susan Meeling, Lady Dory Bell. I've got a few nicknames. So I have a three part book series called uh, The Adventures of Susan Meeling, Scuba Diver Extraordinaire. Um, I'm going to go through each book and all that, give a few extra commentary to some of the pages as I go through the different books. And, um, but I'm going to read from the beginning and that includes the mission statement um, and then make my way through the different parts of the book series. So you can also go to my website, www.susanmeeling.com and um, you can look through what I've done as well as uh, you can read uh, my journal blog, The Ornery PSA. Um, and there are pictures of the books that I authored, which you can go and purchase them online. I hope you do. Um, all of the books I, I've written, um, a few, a few books. So uh, without any further ado, the uh, first book, volume one of Su The Adventures of Susan Meeling, Scuba Diver Extraordinaire, volume one, one through four of a total of uh, 20 chapters. <clears throat> the mission statement. This book is designed for each scuba diver as well as non-scuba diver alike, as the information within these pages in conjunction with the other books I have written prior to such, as well as the design I created for the underwater travel system, of which I posted pictures on Facebook many years ago of it, after sending it to Shark Tank and I got an email back saying that that was not something they were interested in. Um, of which I created for the individuals who are either who either are not interested and or cannot go scuba diving for whatever reasons, as well as those who can go scuba diving. But my intention for the creation I designed is multifaceted. When taking all of the books in conjunction for the various purposes of which I will describe shortly, such will give a greater understanding. You can go to my website, www susanmeeling.com to find out more information in regards to some of which I've prepared and written as well as in reference to the pages of this book. Um, also, and this is also to assist law enforcement and military guys of the United States of America because a lot of them do uh, scuba diving both professionally and recreationally. All of the pictures I took are without any form of Photoshop or alterations to the pictures when I took them. So there is the date stamp that like was on it because of the camera, not because I added it afterwards. Though some might be cropped, um, there has not been any other type of alteration. If law enforcement and or the military of the United States of America needs um, this writing from me for per prosecution for other stuff uh, in reference to how I landed at the bottom of the ocean and surfaced um, at the Vandenberg, but that's a whole, I'll get to that chapter. <laughs> uh, they, they, they've already been sent the books. So thank you in advance. Dedication. First, to my two beautiful and wonderful children, this design was created for both of you in various ways. Whereas the portions of which allow you to view aspects and areas of the ocean, I intended for the three of us to go before what occurred in reference to what happened at the fort and and all that. I thought of this for each of you. James, Michael, if you wanted to and were able to work in the exterior portions to see a different type of job, so too, as well as in the interior portions, while being surrounded by the oceanic waters. Lydia Louise, due to the certain circumstances, if you were able to work in the exterior, then I would be thrilled, but so too if the interior gave you the ability to see the oceanic aspects of life. Despite all that which occurred, I always kept both of your best interests in my thoughts and my mind. I love you both so very much. And they know I did. I did everything I possibly could. 
Sec and others as well. I do admit that, but I have children. Yes. Second, for those who can go scuba diving and for those who enjoy scuba diving but want a different profession, I came up with a design for both in those aspects. Those who enjoy scuba diving would still be able to go as they pleased in the ocean. However, those who enjoy scuba diving and wanted a pun intended change of scenery would be able to enjoy both at the exact same time. Those with such understanding, whether the professional aspects of scuba diving or for those only in recreational scuba diving, while also keeping in mind those who have gone scuba diving within their professions, though the ability to also enjoy the interior. The jobs of which I thought would be more to your liking would be along the exterior working points of. For those whom have had certain professions of which they used scuba diving to achieve certain goals, while also giving you the space to enjoy scuba diving in a manner which gives the similar type of adrenaline rush accustomed to, but in a non-explosive and non-invasive way and form. Instead of the certain professions of which those with such knowledge know what I reference, the ability to utilize your skills and training from when on land would and could be something you could utilize and such, while also being able to enjoy your newfound profession, which also includes to give the feeling of life when certain types of professionals are needed to retire. An example I can give for such who would understand better than others is in reference to when the race greyhound racing occurs and the dog actually catches the rabbit, the dog no longer runs the race in the same way. In turn, individuals who have been involved with certain types of jobs, of which have a background with but a similar type of setup for the jobs, not calling them dogs, just <clears throat> um, of employment in a way which gives the feeling of achievement with each time when out. Also giving the quiet of which many of you miss from other portions of such employment could be seen as a bit more beneficial in certain regards, as are those I guesstimate who comprehend what I mean in reference in regards to those types of jobs. Third, for those who are not scuba divers currently and or who might be interested in scuba diving as well as those who just want to learn more about the oceanic waters through full immersion, and those who may not have ever had the ability to scuba dive but would like to see the oceanic waters or who once were able to scuba dive but had an injury that they can't. The design I created literally and figuratively gives both at the exact same time. As my creation of the underwater travel system can be connected in a way where it connects all of the continents together, while also a few specific islands in the way of which commerce and connections would bring a new type of revolution. While being able to maneuver around the inner, internal portions of the underwater travel system and being surrounded by the areas of, there would not be a location of which did not have the ability to look outward or above or below while viewing the waters of the oceans as I have created. Also, it is known the waters of the ocean can never be seen the exact same way twice when submerging. There are always, there will always be a guarantee of something new to see in a different way and angled of. Fourth and fifth, for those who are interested in work mainly within different aspects of technology, such would give a new career of design thoughts and something which would give you a different outlook on life itself. While some might be interested more in the respects of the utilizations of which could be transferred into specific points of space travel because of the close similarities of certain atmospheric changes, the points of such would also assist those who would be aboard the future missions to not be as scared of what is in the galaxy once getting to see more of what is in the ocean. I guesstimate there are a few astronauts of which who have seen a few creatures which the words and images thus far known still do not come close to that which they have seen when in the outer limits of space and throughout the Milky Way galaxy. That does not take into consideration what is in further galaxies outside thereof, but that also gives you an explanation for such. Sixth, because of the nature of which the ocean is, this is also for those with the backgrounds, and though I could label one from another about gender, sexuality, ethnicity, etc., unlike what many on land view as a form of importance, so it is not about when in the ocean. 
Whatever gender one is born is not of importance in the same way. What genetic background or ethnicity is not what is viewed in regards in the same way, nor regarding spirituality or religious views. Whomever one is attracted to is also not of importance when in the ocean, for the points as well are quite muted. I do point out, however, for those whom have certain traumatic experiences, such as not a worry for you in such a job position as such available. There is nowhere to assault in such a manner without the perpetrator being caught immediately and thus safe for all. Granted, when in private quarters, privacy of such and yet the same point because of the openness at the bottom floor as well as the top ceiling, the aspects which ease would be able to prevent such attacks and would be easily noticed and taken care of. As many people who have ventured out when in open space for a Google camera to capture and or satellite imagery when outdoors could be an example of which makes sense for some, while maintaining the privacy for children as such internal rooms would be designated for the young ones. Thus, laws of the ocean. Seventh, the generation of new forms of nutrition which can be found and utilized for healthy living is an aspect for humanity, as well as the historical shipwrecks at the bottom of the ocean floor, as well as the various shipwrecks of which have yet to be discovered because of the location and of the depths of which they are located. Also taking into consideration to what levels, pun intended, the mer people will go to keep the treasures for which they know are quite valuable to those who they have seen through the various methods of watching as submersibles have gone throughout the ocean. Though there are some, though, though there are also several shipwrecks of which the gemstones have been altered because of the compression of the oceanic waters, as well as the porous aspects of the semi-precious and precious gemstones, those of which who have studied archaeology as well as gemology can comprehend and imagine to their wildest content, yet still not have the slightest clue, because the few gemstones pieces that have been found by being allowed um, are just a tiny, tiny, tiny view of the tip of the iceberg, just the view of it not the actual like not actually getting up to the iceberg to actually see other people in the deep ocean. however i will give a few examples which could titillate the senses of those who understand and comprehend such types of scenarios for different gemstones in regards to the different types of jade stones and the locations of which the mineral deposits found where each coloration varies depending upon the co composites of which are within the general area of where the mining occurs. Such gemstones which have been submerged at depths of which the compression could take the time of which a coal forms into a perfect diamond in minimal time. Taking into consideration the molecular compounds within the various areas of the oceanic environment, as I would guesstimate specific types of scientists know and comprehend, depending upon which area of the oceanic tides are at and does depend on what minerals are found within those regions. Adding the effects of the aspects of those mineral compounds, as well as the current flow and weather patterns, thus guarantees the differences between any stone which has been dropped into the depths of the ocean in the Atlantic area of the ocean and in the same type of stone from the same region being dropped into the Indian area of the ocean and so on and so forth. Those jade stones which have been in those areas of the ocean have dramatically changed com completely for one example. Another example, especially for jewelers who would be, who would understand in regard to diamonds, emeralds, and rubies themselves, all of which are classified and labeled as precious gemstones. Those particular pieces of which have been submerged at those depth levels at the amount of time that they have. <clears throat> have in certain regards changed not only in color, but carat weight, as well as because of the additional mineral deposits within, has changed quite a bit of the colorations. In reference to the older shipwrecks of which chests of gemstones of varying types have been submerged, some of those stones have clustered together because of the boxes that they're in, whereas others have had marbleized effects throughout the permeations of the various gemstones in the area, in partial due to the patterns of which the gemstones are sitting, 
and impartial aspects in regards to the current which can and or cannot flow through the area of the chests and boxes. This, too, does not include what has been done to certain wood structures, of which from centuries old, which those shipwrecks have had mineral deposits add to the strength of the already strong wooden frames of which can be harvested for other purposes. There are also other aspects of which those gemstones can be utilized if they are able to be found when allowed to be removed from the bottom of the ocean floor. I will further discuss why such possibilities will not necessarily be allowed until certain aspects of my personal involvement. The mer people can be far more finicky when seeing others who are not accepted initially as I than the standard house cat is known to be. If anyone has attempted to scuba dive, as I had done in the Atlantic area of the ocean, to descend to the depths I had before ascending, you can guarantee the mer people were involved with why you had not safely surfaced um, without any help conditions if you were allowed to surface at all. In reference to specific airplanes and ships of which went missing over the centuries, you can guarantee they had been their way along with the energetic aspects of which to ensure not just anyone was able to retrieve such aspects from the bottom of the ocean as the mer people would not allow. Only what they knew would not be a problem to be removed. If found certain cargo to be use of use to them, you can guarantee they did not allow people to find such without a specific individual, hi, who would ensure the correct aspects of being handled properly. Though many humans may want to portray their trustworthiness, the mer people instinctively know comparatively. However, for this point, I digress to write further along in the passages of this book for the dedication. One of the most important points in regards to creating the particular design was to guarantee of those who have military and law enforcement associations would be given the opportunity for themselves and their family to enjoy the va a vacation for the United States of America specifically to another and back for the time frame it takes to travel as well as the time of which they could explore the location they choose. For example, the average military paid leave is a total of 30 days in the United States of America's armed forces, and thus they would get a discount of more than just any other group or organization to travel through the system who would not have to worry about anything on board either, all-inclusive package example. Though many places have a great discount and can assist with such financially, because of my personal background, the idea for such was an entire month of travel set aside for each year of which the entire travel was dedicated only for such. This allows the individual military law enforcement to plan their trip as well as in advance and thus guarantee their relax relaxation time. Thus, an ability to recuperate from the jobs of which are far more strenuous than many civilians know. Even if only a limited number of families and individuals who are not wedded with children want to go for their vacation time, such a guarantee has always been of extreme importance for the creation of the design for, that I did of the underwater travel system. However, the information of which I will be writing about will discuss how I came through to the design more so than the design in certain ways, though if there are genuinely a chance for truthful world peace around the globe, this idea I have, I think, could genuinely be as such. That is the dedication and the mission statement for my three-part book series in volume one of The Adventures of Susan Meeling's Scuba Diver Extraordinaire. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you like each one of my videos that I have done, uh, the official ones. Um, and, uh, also, um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Reverend Me Ling. Go to my website, www.susanmeeling. Like and share this video everywhere. Thank you very much. Have a good one.